solving this problem. So the common denominator is going to be, so um, over here you can factor out two and you get three y minus one. Here you get um, three y minus one and then three y plus one. So both of them already have this. So the common denominator is gonna be three or two times three y minus one and then three y plus one. So basically, uh, this over here needs to be multiplied by 3y plus 1, and then over here this needs to be multiplied by 2. So um, 2 times 3y minus 1, um, oh, excuse me, plus 1, because that's what it's missing. And then over here, plus y, it's going to be 2 times um, y. And this is all going to be over to actually you can multiply this so it becomes well it becomes two times y squared minus one. Alright, so we get uh six y plus two plus two y over um and this is nine, excuse me. Two times 9y squared minus 1. These get added together and we get uh, 6y, actually 8y, plus 2 all over 2 times 9y squared minus 1. These factor out, so this becomes 4, this becomes 1, and we're simply left with 4y plus 1 all over 9y squared minus 1. That's it. All right. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.